Hello everyone. In this lecture, I am going to discuss chemistry of cocaine crack and cocaine hydrochloride salt. Cocaine is a widely abused addicting drug. Cocaine is usually obtained as its hydrochloride salt that is cocaine hydrochloride but it can be converted to crack. This is the cocaine crack that is a neutral molecule you can see there is no charge by treatment with a base okay so you can see here in this molecule that is cocaine hydrochloride salt this is basically acidic hydrogen this is acidic hydrogen and if you just treat with a base any base suppose koh we are taking then this oh minus we will be taking this H plus and forming water and you will be getting this neutral molecule that is cocaine crack. This is neutral. Okay. Now, which of the two compounds here has higher boiling point? That is the first question that we have to compare the boiling point. Which has higher boiling point? So, let's see. This is the cocaine crack and this is the cocaine hydrochloride. This is the salt. Okay. And if we see, the boiling point depends on intermolecular force of attraction. And since it is a salt, that is cocaine hydrochloride, it is a salt. So, there will be ionic force between the molecule. It will be ionic force between the molecule. And we know ionic force is the strongest one. And due to that, due to extreme ionic force, okay, extremely strong ionic force, this will have higher boiling point. So, cocaine hydrochloride will be having higher boiling point okay why because there is ionic force between the molecules okay next which is more water soluble now they are asking which is more water soluble okay now water solubility is again decided by the type of interaction if we see cocaine crack and cocaine hydrochloride since it is a salt it is having positive negative charge that's why it will be more soluble in water this is more polar basically okay so water solubility is more for cocaine hydrochloride that is higher water solubility too because it is a salt because it is a salt and due to that it will be having more interaction with the water and that's the region it is having higher water solubility now how does the relative solubility explain why crack is usually smoked but cocaine hydrochloride is injected directly in the bloodstream so let's see the next one how does the relative solubility why crack is usually smoked while the cocaine hydrochloride is injected into the bloodstream now if we compare the water solubility, I just explained that since it is charged, okay, it is ionic, you know, bond there and due to that it will be forming better interaction with the water, hydrogen bond with the water and it will be more water soluble, okay. So, due to high water solubility, this cocaine hydrochloride, okay, can be injected directly into the bloodstream where it can dissolve into that, okay. So, it can be injected can be injected directly to bloodstream yeah why because it will be soluble since it is more water soluble since it is more water soluble that's the explanation for this okay now let's move to this cocaine crack this cocaine crack is basically non-ionic it is neutral molecule okay so this will be a smoked because it can dissolve in the organic tissue of the nasal passage and lungs so since it is neutral okay so it can be dissolving can dissolve in organic solvent that is organic tissue okay of the nasal passes and lungs so the crack 
will be smoked because of that reason because crack does not have much water solubility so it can't be injected in the bloodstream but here coke and hydrochloride is having water solubility more because it is having ionic interaction there it is charged so it will be more water soluble it is a salt and hence it can be injected directly to bloodstream because it is more water soluble that's all about the explanation of these two drugs thank you